Hey y'all, welcome to the Style Chronicles. I did some um, shopping on 4th of July and I thought I would share it with you guys, picked up some stuff. Um, first up, went to Bath and Body Works because my dad was looking to replace a hair and body wash um, from the men's line that was in a piece of luggage that he had stolen when he went to Georgia a couple weeks ago. Yeah, I've got some cousins that live in Georgia and we visited um, a while back beautiful, beautiful place. Um, however, the crime in Georgia is unbelievable. I mean, yeah. Anyhow, so they stole his um, suitcase. He was out um, somewhere at a tourist site and they swiped his suitcase from the back of the trunk of the car he was renting. Anyhow, so stole that, stole his Bath and Body Works body wash hair shampoo stuff that he likes. So he went to replace it, and um, which is good because it was buy two, get one free this weekend. And while we were in there, I picked up a scent portable fragrance refill for my little buggy, buggy, my little bug, my scent bug that I have that my aunt gave me for Mother's Day. Um, I really like it. And this is vanilla coconut. It makes my car smell really, really pretty. Um, I always, I'm paranoid about my car because it's an older, older, it's an older car. I've had it for about seven, six years now, um, and it's a Corolla, and it's my everyday car. That's what I go to work in. So I take my kids, you know, to work. We get breakfast or whatever, and, you know, they eat a lot, or my daughter eats a lot in the car. I'm always terrified that it's going to smell like milk or orange juice or something, I don't know, you know, fried or just kid food. Um, so I love the little scent buggy because it, it makes my car smell really good. And this is a vanilla coconut. I like it. But they have, I mean, so many pretty, like, sweet pea and just pretty fragrances that I really like that. And they're four for $15, and you get two. You get a, you know, they come in two packs. So it's really good. Um, little car scent. Anyhow, um, I told you guys that I love this from Bath and Body. It's the Lemon Deep Cleansing Hand Sanitizer. My aunt bought me one in the hospital with my daughter, with my son when he was born. And I picked up another one because we go through it. I love it. Um, and so while we were there, I picked up some little, you know, to-go ones for my diaper bag. Um, they are five for five dollars. I think they're $1.50 a piece normally. My uh, sister took one, so I've only got four. But this is Island Nectar, which smells so good. Um, guava Grapefruit, which doesn't have the little balls in it, which I think makes it moisturizing, but it's okay. And then Tangelo Orange and Sweet Pea, which smells really, really good. And then this little thing to attach it to um, that my daughter picked out. This was 50 cents. And I think my dad paid for that because, yeah, I was going to pay, and he slapped down some money and paid. Um, so yeah, he's really sweet like that, very thoughtful. That's that. Uh, and then went to, let's see, I swatched everything on my hand already, so it would go a little faster. Uh, MAC, because I needed to get an eyeshadow, and replaced a blush and pick up a blush. So, got print eyeshadow, it's right here. Um, it's gray. I have one really cheap, it was 99 cents from Sally Girl gray eyeshadow um, that I did a look with like a while back I was wearing it a lot uh, and I liked it but I wanted something that was more you know that was gray that I could play with it every you know not play with it that I could use and um, that would stay and last longer and I like MAC so picked up print and there it is right there pretty gray and I thought gray would look pretty with the peaches that I'm going to show you guys so there's that next up I picked up style blush which Peach is supposed to be really huge this summer, uh, so I wanted a peachy blush that I could use with my peach lipsticks that I will show you guys I picked up also, but here it is, Style, and it's right there swatched next to the print. Very, very pretty, and it goes well with the other pink, uh, peach lipsticks, so there's that. And then Pink Swoon, which I had a while back, um, back to MAC the Plastic and did not ever pick it up again. So I wanted to replace it, but here it is, Pink Swoon. It's a beautiful, very bright, right there's Pink Swoon, um, pink blush. And then next up, I picked up two YSL lipsticks. I wanted a peach lipstick, because like I said, peach is supposed to be so huge this summer. So I wanted a peach lipstick, and I swatched like four or five of their peach colors that YSL makes, and could not decide. I just really could not decide between them. And YSL has the best formulation. I mean, I love YSL, Dior, and Chanel. Have They just feel so pretty on. Um, and they tend to smell good. You know, I just, I like their lipsticks, like the formulation. So YSL could not decide, so I picked up two. Um, 
that I could not, the two that I could not decide between, which is fine because I don't have any peach. I have orange and I have coral, uh, but I don't have any peach lipsticks. So I picked up two. Here you go. Here's the I saw really pretty packaging. This one has a mirror. This one doesn't. Um, this one, which one? Okay, we'll do this one first. This one is uh, number 13. It's called Peach Passion. Looks like that. And it is this one swatched right there. Very bright. I made this video earlier um, and then did not like the way it turned out. So that's why I have the swatches already. Here's this one. Um, the only reason why I did not like how it turned out is because they're cutting the grass on the golf course behind my house. And the machine or the guy was like right at the border of my yard and the golf course and it was so loud that you could not even hear me talking through half the video because he just I don't know like he let it sit there idling for a little while and you couldn't hear me so because ordinarily I would have just put the video up and not cared about what interruptions there were but yeah it was ridiculous you couldn't even hear me talk I was talking like this and my mouth was going you couldn't hear it all you could hear was that anyway this is the next one it is number 30 it's called Peach Faubourg yes Peach Faubourg F-A-U-B-O-U-R-G, Faubourg. If I'm not saying that right, because I'm not French, then <laughs> please let me know. But that's how I think it's um, set. So there's that color, and it is right there in the middle. So I've got a very bright, vibrant peach with peach passion, and then a very neutral kind of peach color um, there. Now this one I like. It reminds me of the 70s peach lip. Just that perfect 70s. You know, I don't know how to explain that 70s peach that I was going for. I've got pictures of my mom from the 70s wearing kind of this color. And I just think it's, it's always been so pretty to me. So it's like a 70s, you know, colored mouth. I don't know. Um, but it's this, that's that peach, peach Faberg, which I really love. I think it's so pretty, um, especially for the summer. And I know, you know, if you're tan, I'm sure it would look beautiful on your skin um, because it just looks like it would go really well with a tan because you guys know I'm very pale <laughs> and then next up I got a Dior Attic lipstick in Singular Singular uh, 465 I love Dior lipsticks um, I always wore or I used to wear Rose Cosmic or Cosmic Rose I don't think they even make it anymore um, but it's just a very light pretty pink this one is a little bit more vibrant, but it's very pretty. Let me put it back right there. It's this one right there. Just a good kind of everyday pink. It's not as bright as it looks in the tube. You can see it looks a lot brighter, um, but it's not. It's very sheer and just really pretty, kind of a pretty everyday color. So there's that rose, not rose, um, singular. I used to wear the Rose Cosmic, which I have somewhere, and I'll have to swatch for you guys. Very pretty. And then at Sephora, they had this Hope in a Jar sample, which I've tried Hope in a Jar, and I like it a lot. It's so, so pretty. It makes your skin feel really nice. It's like a moisturizer. Um, and then if you're a VIB, they have these right now, and they're just the 10% off for the VIB um, for next time you go shop. So I picked up those. And I also went to Old Navy and picked up a pair of blue jeans in a size that fit. Um, so I've got a pair of jeans that I can buckle. <laughs> that I can get on um, and it feels good because I posted that uh, outfit of the day, the forgiving clothes outfit of the day, which was my Friday night outfit, posted that and um, yeah, so many of you guys were so nice telling me not to beat myself up over the fact that I haven't lost the baby weight and I know I'm not expecting it to go that fast but I do know that by this time I could already wear my jeans with my daughter and this time around I can't get them over my thighs or my butt so it's just a little frustrating and I was tired of wearing the same three dresses that I always wear and maternity jeans so I thought I'll pick up jeans that fit and it just yeah it made a world of difference I felt so good going to dinner last night wearing a pair of blue jeans that actually fit that were not maternity jeans um so picked up that but they're over there I wish I could show you guys anyhow um that was my haul I hope you guys had a wonderful weekend I'll talk to y'all later bye bye